What is going on guys? Welcome back to the channel and I appreciate you being here. Today I'm going to show you guys what's no doubt the fastest way of farming faction tokens. Also the fastest way in my opinion of farming exotic engrams. Now we know with the addition of bungee nerfing cooldowns of lost sector chests you can't constantly farm them. Now you can literally only open two lost sector chests every 10 minutes. Any other chests open from lost sector within this 10 minutes will literally give you nothing and you have to wait another 10 minutes before loot is given from these chests. So you get three faction tokens per lost sector chest so you can only get six every 10 minutes. For the method today I will be showing you guys this kind of takes this into mind and allows you to exploit public events while you wait. So this is what you do to start. Head to Nessus and spawn into the Artifacts Edge area. Here there is a public event which spawns in but to start off this farm right you want to try and aim for a time where there is no public event here or you can just rally the flag. This gives you the perfect amount of time to get in and out of this lost sector here twice. So spawn into this area, head into this last sector right here, run straight through, kill the boss, open the chest, simply run out the last sector and run back in and do that again. Now come out of this last sector and the public event will almost be ready to start. Now the reason that I picked this place is because this public event is so so easy to exploit and when I mean exploit it can literally trigger this heroic event so easy and take out the boss in a matter of a second. You can do this with every Cabal Exploration public event but the exploit I will explain in a sec. So to trigger the heroic version and simply take out the ship that eventually flies in once you've taken this out the heroic version will trigger then simply eliminate the boss as fast as possible you will then receive five faction tokens and you simply want to open that public event chest now here's the exploit then what you want to do is fast travel back to this exact area artifacts edge if you took out the initial public event quick enough when you fast travel back because it locates you to a different server most of the time the public event will still be running and you can simply take part in it again and take it out for a second time repeat the process take out the ship take out the boss and you will be rewarded a further five faction tokens as well as that heroic chest i've actually managed to do this public event four times in a row fast traveling back most of the time though you won't get that lucky but you may as well try if when you think the public event has gone what you do now is head to io and spawn into the rupture area as this public event will just about be ready to start and this public event is yes the cabal excavation meaning you can easily exploit this too Again, take out the ship, take out the boss, receive five faction tokens, open the chest, fast travel back to this exact location, and most of the time the public event will still be here for you to take part in again. When you eventually get this public event done, and you are certain you can't spawn into a new server and it will still be running, what you do here is either head to the EDZ and go to the Winding Cove area, or you can again go back to Nessus and go to the Artifact Edge area. Here, with these both locations, the Cabal Excavation Public Event will again be just about ready to spawn in. So within both of these locations, Lost Sectors are located right here and you will be able to run through them and grab them faction tokens again. Now you can start off this farm with either the Winding Cove EDZ Lost Sector or the Nessus Artifact Edge Lost Sector. That's entirely up to you. They both rotate together, so you can't go from the Artifact Edge to the Winding Cove I always the place you will need to go in between these two as the Winding Cove Cabal Excavation and the Artifacts Edge Cabal Excavation both spawn in at the same time. But doing this makes easy work of obtaining faction tokens if that's what you need. This is also a great way of farming exotic engrams, obviously not using Lost Sectors as we pretty much know they are useless when it comes to dropping exotics. But yeah, in a simple man's terms, start with the Nessus Artifacts Edge Lost Sector or the Winding Cove EDZ Lost Sector, run that twice. Then do the public event which spawns in right there. Do that as fast as possible, fast travel back to the exact same location, do the public event again. Then go to IO and spawn into the rupture area and do this Cabal Excavation public event. Complete it, fast travel back to IO and the rupture, complete the public event again. Now your 10 minute timer should be up and you can rinse and repeat the whole process. This in my opinion is definitely the fastest way of you getting faction tokens and if that's what you were in need of, I hope this video helped you out. If it did, leave it a like, it really does help me out. But guys, that is it for the video, I hope you enjoyed it. If you are new around here and enjoy daily destiny be sure to subscribe and hopefully people i will see you on that next one always in the wrong knowing where we stand